So in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be deciding if I have one mole of sodium sulfite, how many moles of sodium, how many moles of sulfur, how many moles of oxygen do I have? Well, the first thing to do is you need to actually write out the formula for this ionic compound. So just as a review, I'm going to write sodium, which is just Na. And sodium, Na, has a plus one charge. And then I'm going to write the formula for sulfite, which is SO3, and that has a two minus charge. So if I then go and cross my charges, the one is going to become the subscript for SO3, and two is going to become the subscript for Na. So what you end up with is Na2SO3. Now notice SO3 is not in parentheses, and that's because I only have one SO3. So if I have one mole of this compound, that means I have two moles of Na. That means, well, there isn't a subscript here, which means it's an implied one. I have one mole of S, of sulfur, and then I have three moles of oxygen. 